Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting equation. First of all, we have something like 2 to the power x minus x equals k, where k is an arbitrary constant, and we're looking for one solution. So for which values of k is this equation going to have a single solution? Obviously, we're also going to be exploring different options, but that's the ultimate goal. You can also uh, rephrase this question differently like how for how many k values this is going to have no solution or two solutions or more than two solutions so you can look look at all these cases the result will be pretty surprising and trust me when i came up with this problem i did not expect this result to be this surprising and i'm also going to show you a graph at the end but before that we're just going to do some hand graphs <laughs> and drawn graphs so we want this equation to have a, a single solution 2 to the power x minus x equals k. For which values of k this is going to work. All right. So here's what I'm going to do first. I'd like to make this or put this in a nicer form. A nicer form means I don't like 2 to the power x minus x. It's kind of like not exponential uh, nor polynomial. It's kind of like a mixture. So uh, let's go ahead and separate those two things and put the x on the right hand side. So I'm going to add x to both sides and get this equation instead. 2 to the power x equals x plus k. Now what is so good about this? 2 to the power x is exponential and it's always increasing. And guess what? x plus k is also always increasing. So we can't say, hey, this is always going to have a single solution because one is increasing, the other one is decreasing. But they're both increasing. Cool. But the second one is fairly simple. This is kind of like a linear equation, but since the k values can range from negative infinity to positive infinity, this basically represents a family of lines. Okay? A bunch of lines that have the same slope. So what they have in common is the slope. The line is just going to move without changing its slope. So in other words, as k changes, the line moves up or down without changing its slope. So we're going to have something that looks like this. Suppose we have this quick coordinate plane and we're going to have the y equals 2 to the x, which is going to look something like this. y equals 2 to the x. This is going to be 0, 1. And then we're going to have our y equals x plus k. I mean, I'm just going to show you a particular value. Suppose for uh, y equals x plus k, this is for k equals 0. But as you change the k value, up or down, or plus and minus, uh, our, your, our line is going to move up. But the slope is going to stay the same. This line is always going to have the same slope. Make sense? Now, we want to have one solution. What is that supposed to mean? As the line approaches the curve, you'll notice that at some point, or at some point, it's going to cross the curve, right? So something like that is going to happen. We're going to have something like this. But before that, the line is going to touch the curve at a single point. That's when the line is tangent. So when the line is tangent to the curve, line is tangent to the curve, we're going to have one solution. Great. So that's what we're looking for. And you can definitely graph this. Graph this in Desmos. And I'll show you a graph anyways. And play with it. Like... Um, Put a slider for the k value and change it or play it. So let's see what happens when they are tangent, what that looks like. So on the corner plane again, hand drawn graph. Forgive me for that, but I'll show you a nice graph at the end. So suppose we have our uh, y equals x, and then at some point, we don't know which one, but at a single point, our line is going to have a single, uh, I don't know, something like this maybe. I'll try to make it that way. Our line is going to be tangent. So we don't know that point, but uh, it's going to happen. We know that, at least intuitively, right? Hopefully. Let's go ahead and call the x-coordinate of the point of tangency z. Why z? I don't know. I just didn't want to pick y or anything else. You could also pick t if you want, but I wanted to pick z. So our line is tangent at x equals z. So what is that supposed to mean? This means two things. If f of x and g of x are tangent at x equals z, then two things happen. First of all, they have the same y value. So 
f of z and g of z are going to be equal. But not only that, they're going to have the same slope at that point. The slope of the tangent line to the curve is actually the tangent line, or the line is the tangent line. So how do you find the slope of a tangent line? By differentiating the function at z and differentiating the other function at z. So these two conditions have to be satisfied for our lines or curves or functions, whatever, to be tangent. Okay, let's see what happens. So one of our functions is, I guess we could call f of x equals 2 to the x, and g of x is x plus k. If you replace x with z in both, you get 2 to the z, 2z or not 2z, equals z plus k, because they're supposed to be equal, remember? And then differentiate the both functions. f prime is going to be 2 to the x ln 2, and g prime, well, that's just a poor line, right? Whose slope is 1, so it's going to be 1. Again, the derivative shows you the slope at any point because the line is a constant slope. The curve is a variable slope, which is uh, proportional to the uh, y value. Okay, so great. So let's go ahead and uh, replace x with z here, and we're going to get 2 to the power z ln 2 equals 1. So we got ourselves a system of equations which we have to solve. And guess what? I wasn't really expecting to solve this because sometimes these systems are not solvable easily. You don't get a standard equation or you can't express it. But this time it was. And you'll verify it or I'll verify it with you. I'll show you the graph. Anyways, so here's what I'm going to do. From the second equation, I would like to isolate 2 to the power z. 2 to the power z can be written as 1 over ln 2. Obviously, this doesn't give us the z value, but we can find it. Let's go and find the z value by ln-ing both sides. ln is the natural log or the Napier logarithm, whatever you want to call it. ln 2 to the z equals ln 1 over ln 2, which is kind of like the ln of the reciprocal of an ln. And then z is going to move. z ln 2 equals ln 1 over ln 2. Divide both sides by ln 2 and you got the z value. Great. So this is my z value. I'll show you what that looks like on the graph. Bear with me. This is the z value and this is the 2 to the power z value. Now why do I need both? Because we have to put them together here. 2 to the z equals z plus k. 2 to the z equals z plus k from the first equation. and Or, or I shouldn't say first, but from the functions themselves. And now I'm going to replace 2 to the z with 1 over ln 2. And z with this gigantic logarithmic expression. And guess what? You can find the k value from here, for which this equation has a single solution. Since these two have the common denominator, I just need to subtract their numerators. So it's going to be 1 minus ln 1 over ln 2 divided by ln 2. And obviously, this gives us the answer, so we're done, right? But I'll still show you the graph, just bear with me. Um, this is the k value. And notice that 1 minus ln can be simplified. You can write this as ln e, e, e divided by whatever, something, no big deal. I mean, you can do it, but I'm just going to leave it at that because this is fine. And now we can call this k sub 0. It's the particular k value because k is kind of like a variable. It's going to vary. Now, here's the thing. If k is greater than k sub 0, and you can play with this, like I said earlier, we're going to get two solutions because the line is going to go up. If k is less than k sub 0, then we have no solutions. And here's the graph. There you go. Okay, exactly the graph for the point of tangency. As you can see here, ex exact same value that we found. It's about 0 0.913928667944, so on and so forth. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.